So the magistrates had stripped and ordered them to be flogged. They were given many lashes and they thrown into the prison, and the governor was torn to keep a close watch on them. So following his instructions, he threw them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. Late that night, Paul and Silas were praying and singing God's praises. While the doors, other prisoners listened, suddenly there was an earthquake that shook the prison to its foundations. All the doors flew open and the chains fell from all the prisoners. When the girl awoke and saw the doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to commit suicide, presuming that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted at the top of his voice, Don't do yourself any harm. We all are here. The governor called his lights, then rushed in, threw himself trembling at the feet of Paul and Silas, and escorted them out, saying, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They told him, Become a believer in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, and your household too. Then they preached the word of the Lord to him and to all his family. Late as it was, he took them to wash their wounds and was baptized them and there with all his household. Afterwards he took them home and gave them a meal and the whole family celebrated their conversion to believe in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. Before the angels I will bless you, I will adore before your holy temple. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called you and said, you increased the strength of my soul. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. You stretch out your hands and save me. Your hands will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
I will send you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will lead you to the whole truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me. Not one of you has asked where are you are going, yet you are sad at heart because I have told you this. Still, I must tell you the truth. It is for your own good that I am going, because unless I go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I do go, I will send him to you, and when he comes he will show the world how wrong it was, about sin and about who is in the right, and about judgment about sin, proved by their refusal to believe in me, about who is in the right, proved by my going to the Father and your seeing me no more, about judgment, proved by the Prince of this world being already condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. In the 1994 movie Shawshank Redemption, the wrongly imprisoned Andy Dufresne uh, has ingratiated himself with the prison governor and works in his office. And one day he finds a gramophone and a record and starts to play Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro. And so pacifying and humanising is the music that he decides to play it <coughs> over the loudspeakers throughout the prison. His friend and the narrator of the story, Red, describes those few minutes of listening to that music as freedom. It was like some beautiful bird had flapped into our drab little prison and made those walls dissolve away, he recounts. Paul and Silas find themselves in prison because their ministry has caused financial loss for the owners of a slave girl. And as Paul and Silas are fastened in the stocks, uh, they pray and worship uh, God. Even in the midst of suffering and hardship, they continue to praise the Lord, and their praise has a liberating effect. The ground shakes, the doors fly open, the chains fall off. Today's scene is a little bit reminiscent of the story of the book of Daniel, where King Nebuchadnezzar throws three young men into the fiery furnace for not bowing down to his image. And they are seen worshipping God in the midst of the fire. Worship of God leads them and us uh, to a deepened awareness of God's loving presence. And that always has a liberating effect. In times of difficulty, especially uh, during this pandemic, if we are able to keep praising God, God's presence will become ever more noticeable and lead us through the dark night. Before ascending into heaven, Jesus promised us another helper like himself to be with us. Then our pastors may totally dedicate their lives to the preaching of the gospel by their witness of life. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may give our best to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show compassion to the lovely, the lonely and the sick. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we make our own intention.
Father, giver of all gifts, grant us your spirited abundance that we may live holy lives and work for the coming of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of all his holy service. Lord God, make the Paschal mystery our constant joy. May it continue within us the work of redemption and be the cause of our unending delight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, filled with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Anthony our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command, for by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of us, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let our God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Let our God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord, that this holy exchange of gifts by which we are saved may secure us your help in this present life and obtain for us the joys of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. God.